Jennifer, you with us right now. Uh, Jennifer, yesterday a tough loss, but immediately bounced back. And you played a very good friend of yours, Rochelle Wu, today. Is that a bittersweet uh, victory for you? Um, yeah, I mean, I feel like Rochelle's like my little sister, but you know, in these kind of tournaments, we get used to play against each other. Like, we always play against each other in juniors, and I actually always do really bad against her. Um, I always play like my worst game of my life against her, so I'm glad I didn't lose this game. Um, but yeah. Let's discuss uh, today's game because it, it was actually quite tense out of the opening. Yeah, I um, did not do the best prep, so I wasn't expecting a6. She told me she played this yesterday, but I thought she was going to go e6 first. Um, but wait, wait. She told you that she's going to play this against you yesterday? No, no, no after the round. She after was like, the round. I was like, right. oh, I wasn't expecting a6, and she said she played this yesterday against Alice. And I saw like a position, but I thought it was a different move order. Mm -hmm. um, I was just... Yeah, so I haven't played this as way, um, and I looked at this years ago for black, so I didn't really remember. I just remember c5 um, was like something I was looking at, but I think this was normal, but i um just trying to create, uh, come up with a plan. Because mm -hmm. this part was like really tricky here. And oh, yeah. I might There's not have done it. takes c5 ideas. Yeah, so knight takes c5, um, I looked at this for a while, and I think I really liked the position after something like knight e5 or even takes on e4. Oh, knight to e5. Okay. Yeah, I was deciding between them. Like, if she was going to play this, um, I just saw that, like, I was happy with this continuation because um, you're going to get Also the... take here, maybe, and take on c6. Yeah, That's so you, you get the pawn back, and um, I think, you know, I'm kind of active, even though I'm not completely developed on the king side. Bishop d3, maybe castle you definitely gain some speed and she decided to go uh, knight c3 queen takes c3 and then she was looking to play e5 which makes a lot of sense in this type of structures how did you, did you assess the position at this point e4 i was really happy to see e4 um because i think if she kept it like kind of tense in the center there play queen e7 um or queen e7 i think is better um it's just you know it is really complicated i don't know maybe a what the I don't know what the objective evaluation is. It's like Let's around. See. It's a, actually oh says that you're doing quite well. Okay. Well, I mean, I felt okay. I did not feel like it was plus one. Um, but it's just the thing is, I guess it's hard for her to come up with a plan because mm -hmm. she, if she doesn't push on e4, it's like there, it's not clear what to do, and I just develop. But also, I don't know exactly how I would continue. Like maybe just bishop. Just, At least you have a couple of yeah, moves. Yeah, I have a few moves, and then they have to come up with a plan. And yeah. then that's like the thing that's so tricky about this is I have this nice space advantage, but it's like, what do I do with that? Absolutely, and uh, she played e4, and you said that you were happy after this one? Because the thing is, I just felt like um, after, especially after she moved in knight from d7, mm -hmm. um, I just felt like I, it's very easy for me to play here now, which wasn't the case um, if she kept on e5. Like maybe I was, objectively better, but here I just, you know, put my rook to the open file and then just kind of um, develop. Maybe I'll move the knight. I was thinking moving the knight from d2 to g3, but... Um, and it doesn't seem like she has a lot of counterplay, yeah. at least. And this is what happened. She was trying to find some counterplay, of course, with f4. Yeah, but Taken. I don't think this quite worked. At this point, it seems like you're just simply breaking through. And actually, the king in the center is pretty safe for you. Yeah. <laughs> Jennifer, uh, a big uh, game for you, a big bounce back, a victory. How do you feel about your chances going into the last five rounds? I mean, the thing is, like the last few days have been, um, like the last few games, especially since like the rest day, were not that great. Um, but I was also like, I had kind of struggling because I was, um, I had a lot of academic stuff going on, mm -hmm. so I like I think it's pretty obvious from the, my openings. I was mm -hmm. there was not that much prep, um, so I'm honestly I felt like like against Alice, I was like really happy I just didn't lose that game because um, you know I was running on like three hours of sleep and turning the paper right before <laughs> right before the game started. So um, now I'm just you know trying to because I think I got like some things out of the way. Um, I can really like put my m mind more on this tournament. Um, because it's just like weird juggling everything. But, you know, I mean, it's a pretty good situation to be in. I think, am um, I tie for a second? I don't really know. I think so, so yeah. 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 Um, I think Megan won. In Megan won, so she's uh, at, she's the leader probably uh, going into, okay. the, into the last five. Okay. 
yeah, I mean, it's like a good spot to be. Like, I was kind of discouraged yesterday. I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. And the way I played was just really bad. I couldn't, like, I just wasted all my time in the beginning, too. But, you know, I mean, there's still half the tournament love, which is weird, but it's a long tournament. Still plenty of rounds to go. We'll let you get uh, some rest. More than three hours of sleep, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow, Jen. Uh, Jennifer, a quick question One for you, question. because I saw a position and I was kind of shocked for a moment that like you had allowed this possibility. I've got this position after move 14, E3. You just played the move E3, and I had just flashed uh, to this moment, and I saw that Rochelle had an opportunity for knight D7 take C5. What was your intention to play uh, if she had captured? What was my um, plan after this? Yeah. Oh, okay, so I was kind of juggling between knight takes e4 and knight e5, but um, I thought regardless I could just get the pawn back, for, like, and then I felt comfortable with this position. Knight e5 I actually liked a lot. Okay. Uh, I, I mean, so, like, you, you didn't blunder the pawn or anything like that and only noticed it later because, at the mo I mean, it was like, wow, if you can grab that c5 pawn for free, <laughs> that's yeah, a different mind yeah. altogether, altogether. Yeah, so that's why I thought like 94 was a really good move by her because um, she has to take advantage of like this temporary weakness here. Exactly. Jennifer, uh, you're on a roller coaster ride. Uh, <laughs> keep ri riding the roller coaster. Go, girl. <laughs> Congratulations. Yes, a yes. great result today. Well done. Okay.